All right, thank you. Today I'm here with Correctional Services and the Commission of the Victims' Rights um, to jointly launch a new initiative um, that we've all taken part in the development um, and implementation of over the last few months. And it's aimed at helping to solve more of our unsolved cases and what we traditionally call cold cases. We have lots um, of murders and fortunately most of them are solved, but over time the numbers build up and we, we've now got about 119 unsolved murders and some of them up to 50 years old. Um, we've done a lot of things to improve um, our response to solving some of the old cases and this strategy that we're launching today is seen as a very major part um, of a number of other strategies. Um, it's been developed over a number of months, as I say, with the other agencies. Um, and it will involve us essentially seeking to target information from within the criminal community. We've had a lot of success over the years in relation to cultivating people within the criminal community, getting witnesses within the criminal community. And now there are more bikers in jail than ever before. There are um, weekly drug busts occurring across the city, which are very major, uh, and which a lot of that information comes from people within the criminal community. So we're going to seek to exploit that and get the cooperation of a number of prisoners um, who may be either within prisons, within police custody, people under community corrections, because they are the people who know who committed a lot of these murders. The, the strategy will involve, um, has a number of um, characteristics to it. One, one of the major things is prisoners will be provided with playing cards for use in prison and the playing cards um, clearly articulate what the incentives might be available for them, because clearly some of those people will need some encouragement to help us. And there are some within prisons who will do it um, because perhaps because their morals aren't as skewed as some of their fellow inmates. And we have had a number of prisoners come forward and help us with murders in the past for no reward at all. So prisoners will be provided these playing cards. In the prison, they'll see them. They'll be provided with a letter. Every prisoner in the state will receive a letter detailing uh, what we're seeking to achieve through our cold case strategy. Um, they'll be informed of what incentives may be available to them um, to assist the police in helping solving a cold case or helping to recover the body of a murdered person who hasn't been uh, recovered. All the prisoners in the, the prisons that we target initially will get those letters on the same day. Um, following that, anybody who enters the prison system will be provided with the same letter. Anybody who's leaving the prison system will be provided with an appropriate letter as part of the exit strategy. And all prison visitors will get similar information because some of the prison visitors, again, they're mixing in that community and they may well have information. And they may help to provide encouragement to their loved ones who may be serving sentences. In addition to that, there's a very large number of people that are in community corrections, um, out in the community under supervision, and again, those people will get a similar message. Over and above that, we have about 30,000 people go through police custody every year. There will be posters displayed not only in the prisons and in the public waiting areas, but in police stations, in all charge <coughs> facilities, um, affixed to cells in all the cell facilities and all people entering police custody will receive similar information. The only thing that will differ is the means that they contact us. An important feature of the prison strategy is that all prisoners will be able to dial a cold case investigator directly from the prison, and that call will be confidential, and only the cold case investigator will know the identity of that prisoner if that prisoner elects to tell them. Um, I'm happy to hand over to David to say a few words from the prison perspective and then we'll hear some words from Mike. Thank you. <coughs> Look, uh, the department standing, the center, standing in the centre. The Department for Correctional Services has uh, welcomed the opportunity to be involved uh, with the South Australian Police Service in the development of this initiative. Uh, we have a long history of working closely as agencies uh, in the gathering of information and uh, uh, related to criminal investigations. Uh, this campaign is about heightening awareness uh, in our prison environments. It's about heightening awareness in our visit areas 
and in our community correction centres. Uh, so the people that know something about these uh, cold cases are encouraged uh, to uh, make contact uh, with SOPOL and to share the information that may be part of the puzzle to solving the crime. The, the initiative uh, will be um, supported by our staff on the front line um, who are often uh, working on a day-to-day -day basis with prisoners. So it will also raise their awareness of these cold cases and will give them the opportunity to, to support and facilitate uh, prisoners contacting uh, that uh, cold case line. If we can just save uh, one uh, of these cold cases and uh, bring closure uh, to the victims' families, then this uh, program uh, should be a success. Uh, but given the, our long history of working with SAPOL in this area and uh, with offenders providing information in the past, we're very hopeful that it, it's, the success will be even greater than that. So we welcome it and uh, we look forward to the results. Thanks. How do you think prisoners will receive, um, how do you think they'll feel about this when they're handed a packet? When you look at the playing cards, I think you would agree that they're, um, uh, they're very uh, humane playing cards. They're, they're very personal. They're pictures of people uh, who have families, who have loved ones. And uh, most of the people in custody, if not all of the people in custody, have family and they have loved ones. And, uh, and uh, so I don't know that there will be too hostile a reaction uh, to these playing mm -hmm. cards. Uh, some, of course, will not want to engage in the process at all. Uh, but I think others, uh, if they are aware of information, uh, may be prompted by this campaign to speak up. Has this been trialled in other states across Australia, and if so, has it been successful? I might uh, refer to Des on that. Um, in relation to this strategy, um, the strategy has been used in several states in America, in each of the prisons that it's been used in. It has been successful. Our strategies broader than what was introduced in, in those prisons. In those prisons, um, it was really the playing cards being introduced. And uh, what we've done is we've actually introduced the playing cards, clearly articulated on the cards the benefit. You'll recall that the government introduced supergrass legislation where prisoners can be resentenced. Um, again, that's identified to the prisoners for their cooperation. Um, so this identifies not just the murders, it identifies what potential benefits they could um, be eligible for, and it provides them a mechanism where they can contact a cold case investigator direct. So not a, not, no correctional officers will know that a particular prison, prisoner has uh, contacted us. 